Good afternoon, I'm Mike Peterson, and here's the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Wednesday afternoon. Motorists on Highway 59 will notice a new traffic light at a busy intersection in the future. By unanimous vote Tuesday evening, the Shenandoah City Council approved an agreement between the City and Community First Credit Union for the installation of a traffic light at 700 South Fremont Street. Speaking on KMA's Morning Line program here this morning, Shenandoah Mayor Roger McQueen says an adjustment in the former Skateland property's driveway necessitates a four-way stoplight in that vicinity. With less than two weeks ago before the November 8 general election, Page County officials are demonstrating the ease and security of absentee voting. Monday was the deadline for absentee ballots to be requested and sent by mail. However, Page County Auditor Melissa Wellhausen says residents may still vote absentee in her office until the day before the election. Wellhausen demonstrated the process of absentee voting to KMA News. In fact, we have a video version of that story online with the web story at kmaland.com as well as on my YouTube page. A new face has jumped across the Missouri River to Nebraska to take over economic development in Mills County. Earlier this week, Andrew Rainbolt was announced as the new executive director for Mills County Economic Development Foundation, succeeding Marco Floriani, who has served in that role since June of 2020. And installations are underway for multiple rural fiber optics in KMA land. That's according to Farmers Mutual Telephone Company Chief Executive Officer Doug Powles, who reported the progress for the rural Red Oak, rural Bedford and Gravity, and rural Clarinda projects. KMA on track weather, cloudy tonight with lows in the lower 40s, slight chance of showers tomorrow, otherwise mostly cloudy with a high in the upper 50s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have yourself a pleasant evening. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.